Okay, so if you have somebody that has something in their eye and you need to irrigate it, there are a few ways that you can go about doing it. One way is if you are a BLS crew and you have a bottle of normal saline, you can simply pour the normal saline on the eye in order to flush it through. The important thing is, is that it doesn't need to be normal saline, especially if you have a chemical burn. You really want to make sure that you remove that chemical to stop the burning process as soon as possible. So any sort of a neutral liquid would do, even if it's tap water. The point is, is that you want to make sure that you flush it copiously and continuously for at least 15 to 20 minutes or so. One of the things that you have to keep in mind though when you're irrigating, especially if you have only one eye affected, is that you have to make sure that you don't cross-contaminate the contralateral or the opposite eye. So you want to make sure that if you have a patient who is, for example, in a supine position, that you roll them over to one side um, and apply the fluid from the medial or the inside part of the eye so that it can flow outward and not cross-contaminate the eye. If you happen to have ALS-type equipment, there are a few other things that can be done as well. One of which is to utilize a bag of normal saline connected to a macro drip set and simply use the macro drip set in order to apply the fluid. Again, the same tenants apply in that you don't want to cross contaminate the eyes. So if you do have only one eye affected, you want to make sure that the liquid flows away from the unaffected eye. If you do have two eyes that are affected, you can simply run two bags of saline with two different macro drip sets and irrigate it that way. Another way that we can irrigate the eye is with the use of a Morgan lens. And if you do have a Morgan lens on board, you really need to have the tetracaine to go along with it. The tetracaine is a topical anesthetic that is used in an eye drop form. And similar to any other medication, you want to confirm that you have the correct medication, you want to make sure that it is not expired, and that the patient doesn't have an allergy to any of the medications that you are going to administer to them, including tetracaine. To put in a Morgan lens, the first thing that you want to do is to apply the tetracaine anesthetic. And in our protocols, we use the typical concentration of 0.5%. And this is applied the same way that you would uh, apply any eye drop. Generally, what we would do is to pull down the lower lid while having the patient look upward. You want to make sure that you warn the patient that this is going to sting for a few seconds, but after about 20 to 30 seconds, that stinging sensation is going to go away and the eye will become numb. We want to apply two drops to that area between the sclera and the lower lid. And once those two drops are applied, we can then go ahead and insert the Morgan lens. Uh, you want to wait for a good 20 to 30 seconds until that numbing effect has, um, has kicked in. And once you put that in, the end of this will fit on a regular lure lock. So if you have a macro drip set, you can take the end of that macro drip set and attach it to the lure lock and then just run the fluid in wide open. One of the issues is that the tetracaine unfortunately doesn't last very long. So we're gonna to have to reapply it. But it can be difficult to instill the tetracaine with the lens in place because the lens occludes essentially the entire sclera. So one way to accomplish that is by taking a syringe, drawing up the tetracaine into the syringe, And once that is drawn up in here, you can instill a little bit of tetracaine through the side port of your IV tubing every few minutes. Now it's important that we make sure that even though we draw this up in a syringe, that the tetracaine is not intended to be used intravenously. But it can be used topically to instill a little bit of tetracaine every few minutes when it starts to wear off to make sure that the patient is as comfortable as we can make them through this procedure, which without the tetracaine can be pretty uncomfortable.